Hey guys, this is AF Nino and in this video it's going to be another F1 talk video where I basically talk about the latest news in real world F1. So I did this last week with the latest news on the driver lineup for next season and on the DRS regulations. So I thought might not make this a regular thing where I upload a video every time news comes out on Formula 1 and I'll just basically talk about it. Um, so I put some F1 gameplay footage um, in the background so I don't bore you with just talk, talk, talk. So after much delay in announcing the news and prompting a bit of speculation on his future in Formula 1, um, Lotus have confirmed today that Roman Grosjean has been retained for the 2013 Formula 1 season to race alongside Kimi Raikkonen. And um, now it doesn't surprise me that Grosjean um, has stayed at Lotus. I think he's a very good driver and you know he's got pace sometimes and um, I know s some people will label him as a dangerous driver um, he's because he's been constantly crashing um, last season and I'll admit that but you know even the best drivers have problems with contact with other people um, Michael Schumacher's had that problems in the past um, Lewis Hamilton as well so I think you just need to give Roman Grosjean some time and he'll blend into the sport and he'll become cleaner and if you saw in the, la in the couple of last races on 2012 he had no contact I think the last contact deliberate contact was um, in Japan when he took out Mark Webber and the first lap and um, yeah you just need to give Roman Grosjean some time and I think he's a good driver he's had three podiums last season and he's had some good races and you know you know you need, just need to give him a chance and and I think him he'll do well next season so the timing of the announcement will probably from speculation that Lotus's decision um, was influenced by Grosjean's win in the race of champions on Sunday. Um, my point of view, I think he would have stayed regardless of whether he'd run the race of champions or not. I think Lotus would have kept him if he didn't win. Um, and yeah, because I think Grosjean's viable for his place. I don't think there would have been a viable replacement for him. Um, I know Kovalainen was linked some time, but I don't think he's he's good enough. And I think Grosjean deserves his seat. I know I'll admit he'll most likely be in the shadow of Kimi Raikkonen for obvious reading. And um, but you know, don't be surprised when Grosjean you know gets some good races and if the car's up to it, like the last season. Um, you know, expect Grosjean to get some podiums and maybe even challenge for a race win. Um, we could see that, you know, we could not, and uh, depending on the car and depending on him. So um, I'd like to see your, you guys, what do you think about the announcement? If you like, please leave a comment below on what you think, or you know, send me a message on Twitter saying, you know, what's your point of view on the announcement. So something else I wanted to talk about with you guys is um, what's coming up on my channel. Um, basically, I've been posting um, gameplay on FIFA, F1 and Black Ops 2 all over the channel. I've not really had a, an order on it. So basically what I'm going to do now, because it's Christmas break and I'm going to be uploading frequently, uh, more frequently than I have been. And um, so basically what I'm going to do is try and upload at least one FIFA Clan for the Divisions episode um, every week on the weekday. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, check them out now. Um, and keep the main focus on F1, um, mostly on the weekdays as well. Um, probably have a sprint every week as well, and probably play a Black Ops 2 um, gameplay every week on the weekend. Whether it be zombies or multiplayer, you have to wait and see. And um, so basically, on the F1, what I wanted to um, say is that um, if you don't know a um, YouTuber called Alex Zafro, he basically um, is an F1 commentator and he basically sets up this thing called um, an F1 community showdown. It's basically where he gets you know everybody in the F1 community, um, posts a lap time on a selected circuit of his and um, in this case it was Hockenheim and um, post a lap time and everybody he compares the lap times between ourselves and see who gets the fastest lap time so it'll be exciting currently posting my lap times as well so whatever the fastest lap time I get I'll 
um, upload it. You'll see that soon. And um, yeah, I'm also joining um, the Afro League. That's also um, hosted by Alex Afro. His PS3 League, which is starting in the new year. Um, so I'll be uploading videos on that. So stay tuned on that. So yeah, guys, this has been F Nino. Um, please like and subscribe for more content coming up. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.